Hi everyone, this is video is about a drone that I recently purchased, it's a Bass Line, Happy Model Bass Line. Now this video is going to be more about physical tuning of the quad, uh, how to make and get some very good video output. This is the walk snail version, it takes 1080 uh, video. So um, I'm going to cover some of these aspects and things have possibly gone wrong. I've been on a few forums, I see that this has had a fairly mixed result out there and um, it's time to correct this. So I'm just going to drop a few hints and do a little bit about the physical tuning. Now this area of physical tuning needs to really happen before you do anything with beta flight tuning or the software tuning of the flight. I think this is a really forgotten area and I do believe that it should be done. Now, I picked this up on special. I only paid $299 Australian for this particular quad, which is pretty amazing considering it does HD video output. Um, and, uh, well, I got it. I noticed some real problems with the setup as it came out of the box. Um, as on from how it came from the factory. So I'm going to cover those right now. Now this particular quad, it, well, I think Happy Models quality control could be better. Now as I was coming through, now I'll demonstrate what the problem is, or has happened, I'll bring this close, I hope this is going to work. There we go. Okay, okay we've got it in focus. What we're looking at here is the front standoff or the front of the unit of the, the drone. Now I'm going to bring this in here, see if I can point it out. There's the nuts. That's what we call a gummy and below it is the two locking nuts. Now I'll demonstrate this on another frame because it's going to be pretty hard to sort of show or see or visualise this um, as it comes through. But believe me, they were loose. Those two locking nuts were loose at the bottom, which enabled a wobbly wobbly sort of situation with the uh, flight controller. Plus, um, these motor plugs, which come out sideways on this particular quad. Let's just see if I can bring that further, if I can get that into focus. Here it is. They were touching the frame, the bottom frame and that would have just led vibration go through to the flight controller and would have produced an untunable state so um, that wouldn't have been too good either this particular quad or the bass line um, I fully recommend it actually it's it's a um, very good quad it, it has these uh, if I can get these in focus again it has these motors which are 1103s, oh, you can't see it too well there, but believe me, with these tri props and these motors, it's a very, very quiet drone, so, um, yeah, it's quite nice. Okay, an explanation about this particular standoff issue that I was having. Now, I just put a screw and something into a different frame, hopefully this because it's a bit easier to see. Now, with this setup on this particular drone, just disregard this, just pretend this is the carbon fibre off the other one. Um, this is how it was set up from the factory. It was screwed into the top canopy up here. That was the gummy that was controlling the uh, actual, uh, where the flight controller was and the two locking nuts were like that. That wouldn't have been very good. And number two, the, um, These particular, yeah, these two locking nuts, they weren't done up to the frame at all, so um, that was it. I have made some other modifications. I made a different battery tray for it, um, printed it up, because the standard battery tray is like this. And uh, yeah, I've made it a lot thicker. Not thicker wise, it doesn't take up much more weight or anything else like that. The main purpose is this because I fly with these batteries. So, um, 
and it's pretty important and furthermore I don't want the batteries vibrating either so uh, that would be tight fit so um, just to keep the battery away from the frame and being able to move so yeah that's the other things that I've done okay if you're gonna pull this apart if you're gonna try to fix these up you're gonna need tweezers to do up those two bottom bolts as well as anything else because here you've got lots and lots of small little washers which are underneath the main canopy and you mustn't lose them they look like I'll show you a plastic bag I mean, these are not the ones I carry lots of spares they're like this so you're gonna need tweezers um, long nose pliers to lock down onto those lock nuts while you do up those screws they're all Phillips space screws on that particular unit so yep okay you examine yours if you get it and uh, I'm going to conclude this with a bit of flight footage uh, how this thing flies when it has been physically tuned I'm actually running Betaflight 4.4.2 and the main reason I upgraded the Betaflight so I have the HD OSD and you'll see that in the video enjoy I'll catch you later Keep the sky on your mind 